is it so hard to do the little things that would improve my life? The way that our minds are designed is our minds are designed to stop you at all costs from doing anything that might hurt you. There are so many people in the world and, and, and you know, you may be watching this right now and you have these incredible ideas and what you think is missing is motivation. And that's not true. Because the way that our minds are wired and the fact about human beings is that we are not designed to do things that are uncomfortable or scary or difficult. Our brains are designed to protect us from those things because our brains are trying to keep us alive. And in order to change, in order to build a business, in order to be the best parent, the best spouse, to do all those things that you know you want to do with your life, with your work, with your dreams, you're going to have to do things that are difficult, uncertain, or scary, which sets up this problem for all of us. The one thing we have in this world is we can't control the events, but we can choose what to focus on, we can choose what things mean, and we can choose what to do. Those three choices, those three decisions, really control our life. You can always make a decision that's always in your control. Staying with somebody that treats you like garbage is a decision. It is. Staying at a job that you hate is a decision. Staying in the body that you are not proud of is a decision. Is it going to be easy? No, it's not gonna be easy to change, it's simple. It's your job to push yourself. It's not the smartest people who achieve success. It's the people who procrastinate less, make fewer excuses, as they take actions every day towards the goals that they want to achieve. Uh, indecision is the thief of opportunity. Uh, indecision means the door is still closed. Uh, indecision means the opportunity wins. Uh, indecision means what could be is postponed or may never be. If you want to be successful in anything in life, Never leave the sight of setting a goal without doing something that commits you to fulfillment. The next morning, the alarm goes off, and um, I pretended NASA was there. It's the stupidest story. I literally went five, four, three, two, one. I counted out loud, and then I stood up. And I, I'll never forget standing there in my bedroom. It was dark. It was cold. It was winter in Boston. And for the first time in three months, I had beaten my habit of hitting the snooze button. There were moments all day long, all day long, just like that five second moment in bed where I knew knowledge, what I should do. And if I didn't move within five seconds, my brain would step in and talk me out of it. Every human being has a five second window. It might even be shorter for you. You have about a five second window in which you can move from idea to action before your brain kicks into full gear and sabotages any change in behavior. Your life is what you think it should be. That's exactly what you are right now. You are what you thought you should be. And if you don't like who you are, you got to change what you think you should be. What you think is more important than what you do. And so if you want to change, you got to work on this attitude bit. Decide, commit, act, succeed, repeat. The one thing that all the greats have in common is they sweat the small stuff. They pay very, very close attention to every detail. What makes you comfortable can ruin you. What makes you uncomfortable is the only way to grow. What you are and what you become depends on how you use your time.
the billionaire and the beggar both have 24 hours every day. The old and the young, black, and white, and Indian, and the Asian are all given the same amount of time every day. You cannot stop a day. You cannot stop an hour. But you can control how it will be used. Your life comes down to your decisions. And if you change your decisions, you will change everything. When you understand the power of a five-second decision, and you understand that you always have a choice to go from autopilot to decision maker, everything in your life will change. You will be a different negotiator. You will be different in sales. You will be unstoppable in the gym because you will realize the amount of garbage that you put in the way of your hopes, of your dreams, of your potential, of your confidence, of your courage. Everything comes down to the decisions that you make. Take ownership. Take extreme ownership. Don't make excuses. Don't blame any other person or any other thing. Get control of your ego. Take ownership of everything in your world, the good and the bad. Take ownership of your mistakes, take ownership of your shortfalls, take ownership of your problems, and then take ownership of the solutions that will get those problems solved. Take ownership of your mission. Take ownership of your job, of your team, of your future, and take ownership of your life. The first source of inspiration is deciding. The second source of inspiration is planning. And now, here's a big source of inspiration. Beginning. Getting started. Actually turning thought and the notes on the paper, the plans, actually now committing it to action, getting started. I'm a humongous believer that ideas are and that execution's the game. Well, I think the one thing that discipline definitely does help you with is it, it helps you get things done. And when you get things done, when you, you actually do things, you, you have more success. If you have more success, and sometimes a, a big part of success is just not being f***ing lazy and just doing it. Just get, it's like 90% of it is just showing up. Get there and start working. Like, you're not going to feel perfect every day. If I felt, if I only worked out when I felt good, I'd be a fat f***. Discipline, it does start with waking up early. It really does. But that is just the beginning. And I always say that discipline is the root of all good qualities. But you have to absolutely apply it to things outside of just waking up early. It's, it's everything. It's working out every day, making yourself stronger and faster and more flexible and healthier. Discipline is eating the right foods to fuel your system. It's about disciplining your emotions so you can make good decisions. Doing the tasks that you don't necessarily want to do, but that you know will help you. The thing about self-discipline is that it is necessary for everything you do in your life. You have to be self-disciplined. Discipline is not punishment. It's not. If you change your mindset and really focus it on what discipline really is, you start to welcome discipline. You welcome self-discipline into your life. You people have to know you not because, oh, he's a good salesman. Oh, he's a good this. Oh, he's an artist. People need to know you for one major thing first. He works. He produces. The guy's there every day. The guy's pushing and shoving. Because the truth is, no matter how good your ideas are, how good your art is, or how good your skill set is, 
if you're not working, man, if you're not vibrating at a frequency that people say, my God, how does that guy do all that? If you're not vibrating at that rate, if you're not working at that level, you're not going to make it. 